Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Discover Card. As a matter of fact, I have two credit cards from Discover, and I am insanely nuts about Discover Card. There you, there you go. You can kind of see the cards there. I'm insanely nuts about Discover Card, so that's what we're going to talk about in this video. But before we get started, I have a quick message. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV, and on this channel, I talk about everything you need to know about credit, credit cards, and how to make money using credit cards. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so when it comes to Discover Card, I am a huge fan of Discover. I love Discover Card. Um, I love Discover as a company. Their customer service is ridiculously amazing. As a matter of fact, like I said, I have two cards right here, both of them right here. I'm insanely nuts. This is the first card that I got with Discover Card, which was a secured card back in August 2017. It took me 14 months to graduate from a secured credit card with Discover Card to an unsecured credit card, which it later became like I said, 14 months later. So I'm a huge fan of Discover. Their customer service is really, really legit. And with this card here, I was able to earn a substantial amount of cash back. As a matter of fact, I was able to earn 1700 over $1,700 worth of cash back. And I did several videos on this channel talking about it. And then a year later, I got this card, which was um, August 2018. Uh, I thought the design was pretty cool but it turns out it's a pride card which nothing's wrong with pride so uh, anyway i kept it but i got this card in august 2018 this is my second discover card uh, the reason why i decided to shine some light on discover is because they are a very very solid company when it comes to credit cards actually they're a decent company when it comes to banking um, if you're interested in getting a discover card something that you may want to consider doing is you may want to consider starting a relationship with discover card even if you start with a checking account from Discover. So Discover has a checking account that they offer. They have checking and savings account, um, and you're actually able to earn some cash back if you use your debit card with your Discover checking account. So you have your Discover, your Discover debit card, and I think you're able to earn 1% cash back, which is a lot better than earning 0% cash back using your debit card. So uh, if you don't think that you're gonna be in a position to be approved for one of their Discover cards, you can always start uh, with that checking and savings account that Discover offers. Okay, so that will kind of be a foot in the door as far as establishing a relationship with Discover. And then eventually you can move on and get a Discover card. Now, if you're a college student, if you're in, in school, college of course, you can apply for a Discover student card. They are There are two different student cards that they offer. Um, and that's another easy way for you to get in with Discover. Now, if you are in a situation where your credit score is, let's say, fair, um, and you don't know if you're going to be qualified or not for the Discover card, you can go to their website, which I have on the screen right now, and see if you're pre-qualified. Um, I will put this link in the description of this video so you can just go directly to this page here and see if you're pre-qualified. Um, or you could always just Google Discover pre-qualified, Discover card pre-qualified. So you can come to their website and see if you're pre-qualified and you will not hurt your credit score by seeing if you're pre-qualified. As a matter of fact, before you submit, it, it says right here check now this won't impact your credit score so that's really cool that you can check and see now if you're not able to just qualify for the regular discover card right off the bat you may be pre-qualified for their discover it secured card the secured card is basically a credit card that you can get with discover if you uh, have a de have a deposit that you uh, give to discover card which will be a refundable deposit so you can do i think the deposit is anywhere from two hundred dollars up to twenty five hundred dollars uh, there's no need to do more than five hundred dollars unless you are going to be spending a lot of money um, you know like you're going to be making purchases that's more than $500. Otherwise, there's no need to do more than $500 on that secured card with Discover. So you may qualify for their secured card, which they will tell you when you fill out that pre-qualification uh, page on the website, and they'll let you know if you, if you pre-qualify. Now, one of the things I like about Discover is they have quite a bit of cards and pretty much all of their cards allow you the ability to earn some kind of reward. So even the secure card from Discover, you're able to earn two times points on dining. You're able to, not two times points, 2% cash back on dining, uh, gas purchases, and then 1% on everything else. So 
Um, these two cards that I have, they're both unsecured cards now, and they're both in the 5% cashback category, which is another thing that I like about Discovery. You have the ability to earn a substantial amount of cashback using your Discover card as well as the 5% cashback categories where you're able to earn 5% on certain categories throughout the year. So there are four quarters in the year and how it works is Discover gives you the ability to earn 5% on that particular quarter. So I'm at the website right now. I want to scroll down and kind of show you what I'm talking about in regards to the 5%. So they actually have the entire year of 2020 on here as far as what you can earn 5% cash back on. So as you can see in the first quarter of 2020, it was it was a uh, <laughs> drug stores. It was grocery stores, Walgreens and CVS. The second quarter it was gas station, Uber, Lyft and wholesale clubs. The the third quarter it was restaurants and PayPal. And then the fourth quarter of the year, which I think is a very smart one, is Amazon, Walmart.com, and Target. Uh, clearly, in the last quarter of the year, that's a that's the time where a lot of people spend quite a bit of money uh, since it's the holiday season, and you can do uh, quite a bit of purchases with Walmart.com, Target.com, and certainly Amazon.com. So you're able to earn 5% cash back on up to $1,500 in each quarter. So 5% of $1,500 is $75. Now, this is a very easy thing to do, uh, especially depending on the quarter and how much money you spend on those categories. But one of the things that I absolutely love about Discover Card is the fact that they match all the cash back that you earn during your first year of membership. Like I said, with this card right here, with this Discover Card right here, I was able to earn over $1,700 worth of cash back. And I've done a video, a couple of videos on this channel talking about that. I'll be sure to link the video at the top right. If I remember, I'll link it right here at the top right uh, so you can check that out. But um, you can earn a substantial amount of cash back. So even if you're not getting the 5% cash back in that specific category, you are still earning 1% on all your purchases. And during your first year, that 1% is going to be matched by Discover. So you get 1% and then of course the cash back match. Okay. And the catch, the cash back match works this way. You will uh, accumulate all the cash back that you've done in the first year of using your Discover card. And then at the end of your first year, Discover will literally match all the cash back that you've earned. So back when I did it, I think I earned like, um, it was like $844 or something like that. Um, and then I earned a little bit more afterwards, but Discover matched my $844 at the end of my first year. So I had right there, I had almost $1,700 right there in cash back just by spending on my Discover card. Now, this is a very powerful thing if you're just getting started with cashback. Discover card does not have an annual fee for any of their cards, so that is really, really good. And their customer service is top notch, probably the best or second best, uh, second best to maybe American Express, but Discover card is all the way up. They're all the way up with their customer service. So. Um, one of the things that I do like about the cashback is that you have the ability to get your cashback deposited directly into your checking account. Um, and the reason why I say that is because if you are paying your Discover Card bill, I use the app to pay my Discover Card bill and I have my checking account linked to my Discover account. So at the end of your first year, if you're a nerd like me, I'd let my all of my cashback accumulate that first year and then they will match the cashback basically the 12th or 13th billing statement, um, they'll match the cash back and you'll see it in your account. At that time, you can choose to have Discover Card redeem, you can redeem your cash back by getting a check mail to you. Not sure why you'd wanna do that. Of course, you can always use your cash back and redeem it towards your statement as a statement credit, or you can have it direct deposited into your checking account, which I think is insanely powerful. The reason why I like to let my cash back accumulate over time is because I want to see that yes, I'm earning the cash back and no, I'm not choosing to take my cash back and redeem it towards my statement. I think that's kind of, I think it's okay, but I like to earn my cash back, you know, gather it all up and then spend it, spend it or blow it on something that I want. So I feel like, yay, I treated myself instead of me just using it to pay my credit card bill. So anyway, Discover Card is insanely legit. I encourage you guys, if you're interested, to 
go ahead and see if you can get a credit card from Discover. The first thing you want to do is see if you're pre-qualified at the website. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to consider using somebody's referral link. Of course, I'll have my referral link below the video. Message. But the reason why you want to use somebody's referral link is because once you make your very first purchase with Discover Card, you will get a $50 statement credit. And you won't get that offer if you just sign up for a Discover Card directly on the website. Uh, you have to use somebody's referral link in order to get that $50 statement credit. The statement credit is only for the Discover It credit card. It's not for the Discover It secure card, okay? so. Be sure to know that it's not for the secure card. It's only for the regular Discover card. Anyway, I think I've done a decent job singing the praises of Discover. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below this video. I'll do my best to answer it as soon as I see it. And be sure to stop by on our live streams on Mondays at 7 p.m. Central on How to Build Credit TV. This is a great time and opportunity to have your questions answered live to interact with the How to Build Credit TV family and community. So be sure to stop by the live streams. Once again, that's Monday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Also, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel tremendously and share the video with somebody that may find it helpful. Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace. Peace.